Hey, I think we're live. Uh, the thumbnail on YouTube still says launch day, which I feel like, since I've only slept once since the game came out, I feel like it's still launch day, yeah? I feel like that's totally acceptable. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and play some good old WoW. I'm gonna be completely honest. If you're watching the VOD, uh, this is for you, but I'm actually pretty tired. Uh, I didn't actually, get much sleep. I like, yeah, I know, I know. There's my echo. Um, I actually didn't get that much sleep last night because <laughs> we went to bed at like when we stopped streaming, like two or three, and then I woke up at six, and it was basically nonstop, nonstop work, which was uh, a busy day today. But we did post the first episode of Twelve Days of Cookies on Rosanna's channel, which is super cool, super fun, and we're going to be doing twelve episodes of that total. Literally December 1st, December 2nd, December 3rd, December 4th, December 5th. You guys get the idea. Um, always so funny to see people follow when I'm not actually streaming. I know it's not anything that shocking, but I still find it interesting. Okay, so here we go. What's up, Sir Thin? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Hopefully my chat will update here for everybody else. And what's going on, everybody? I'm feeling kind of festive today. I got my green on. I'm playing my my orc, playing the good old orc, and uh, yeah, basically been having fun. Invite a bunch of people into the guild. <laughs> it's so funny. I uh, I just invite everybody, and we have we have a good time. And honestly, probably made 20, 20 new friends or so from the hardcore server. And a bunch of people came over to this one as well. So it's been really really fun. And uh, you know, a lot of people, I don't know. They they like to uh, take their gilding very seriously, and I'm kind of whatever the opposite of that is. Um, I I think wow it should just be fun, and everybody should have fun. And if you're not having fun on one of the coolest games ever made, then what are you even doing? Uh, I just picked up skinning so I can actually make some money here. So I do have to level that a little bit, which I know is very very tedious. Oh, this guy's just kind of spawn around top of me. I will take it. I think I need these guys anyways for the quest, right? I don't even have defensive stance yet. This is the uh, the warrior quest to start working on defensive stance. Because literally in classic, there is no defensive stance, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, well, I mean, there is a defensive stance, but you don't start with it. You have to you have to do a quest to actually get it, which is just fantastic. Requires skinning 10. Oh my god, so I can skin the level 10 guy, but I can't skin the level 11. That is something else. Although, uh, basically, skinning's great because you can just kind of vendor the mats. Uh, what up, good old Jake Asari? Good to see you. Hey, hockey. Uh, I stayed up till like, 3, I think. Um, and in all honesty, I could have gone all night. And I don't mind, you know, I used to stream all night, like, all the time. Um, obviously, I'm getting a little bit older. So, I got I to gotta pace myself a little bit. Um, but, I, you know, we did some Warsaw and Gulches. And it was kind of like... Our, our teams just were not good, and I am I was 100% a part of the problem. I was only level, what, 11 <laughs> as a warrior uh, with no gear, so it's obviously I'm not going to be... I didn't even have a defensive stance, so it's like obviously I'm not going to be contributing a whole lot. So we, we did the three, the three rounds to um, kind of get the quest done, but yeah, it definitely kind of wore me out. of Because the last one was like half an hour long. Or something crazy like that. And so that that definitely kind of wore me out a little bit. Win more StarCraft. I know I gotta get I gotta get back to uh to streaming more. I did get the character name StarCraft, so I know that that is not exactly what you were hoping. Oh my, it's freaking level level elevens, man. Um not exactly the answer you're hoping for, but I do have a character named StarCraft. I don't know if I'm gonna level him on here or not, but I'll definitely be playing some Stormgate, so that's gonna be coming. And I think I'll do more StarCraft in the future, but with all the with all the new WoW stuff coming out, it's kind of hard for me to fully to fully put it down. I'm gonna be completely honest. I love me some WoW. I also need to get level 10 skinning so I can actually skin this stuff. Um, but yeah, I decided to roll Warrior just because Warriors are pretty much consistently always good. Um, obviously, they have their weaknesses, like not having gear. And there's not a whole lot of gear going around right now. Uh, but just in general, Warriors have always been good tanks. I don't think they're going to make them worthless tanks by any means. And, yeah. Had some fun in RFC yesterday. Okay, what what is this one? Oh my god, I still can't skin him. 
10 heavy laden bandages. That one I can actually do. So yeah, these little crate things, for those of you who don't know, in Season of Discovery, they drop off random mobs. And it's essentially a quest. You usually have to fill it with something. So this one wants 10 linen, heavy linen bandages, which is easy. Some of them are not easy, but linen bandages is obviously easy. And you fill it with those, and then you take it to town. Uh, and you get rep with the faction that does the... Oh my god, I can't skin any of these fools. I can skin this one, right? Um, I don't know what the, what the rep does. I'm sure it's something, obviously. They wouldn't put it in, have it be nothing. But uh, that, is, that is what those things are. What server am I on? Rokai Dota over on YouTube Inquires. Uh, we are on Lone Wolf as Horde, obviously. Wait, now my skinning can do it. Now I'm level 10. This is some pretty exciting stuff right here. Uh, I'm going to skin these guys just because it, it makes myself feel good. Oh, hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, we are on a Lone Wolf Season of Discovery Horde. Uh, I believe Alliance is locked on this server. At least it was yesterday. I don't know if it still is today but uh, there was a queue to get in so people are out here playing wait these guys are literally just spawning around on top of me i feel like i could just just get a a clicker bot to to kill these units as they spawn you know you don't need the you don't need the fancy uh, hunter bot you know just get a just get a mouse clicker is this guy gonna heal me what's he doing or is he her thing that's the hearth animation that's not the heal animation Got him. Oh, snap. We got a pattern. Fine leather boots. And no, I'm not going to go leather working, although I kind of want to now. Get some leather DPS gear, dude. That would be epic. No, I'm, I'm honestly... I'm just going leather working... Or uh, skinning, just to mostly vendor this stuff. Maybe, maybe auction house it. I don't know. But, like, since the servers are so new and there's just literally no... Uh, like... There's no auction house, really. Like, there's no way to make a lot of money. Um, I'm just going to do this just for a bit. Oh, I'm already done with my quest. This was pretty easy. I'm going to skip some of the quests. Like, the uh, the Sack of Supplies quest. I'm literally just going to abandon that. It's, like, it's so awful on these. Um, uh, which one is it? Yeah, I'm just I'm not going to go hang out there. It's literally camped by, like, 500 people. It's just better to go kill a few extra mobs than it is to uh, try and deal with that. <laughs> So every time you skin a light leather, oh, he left something on it. Uncool, dude. Uncool. How much is light leather worth? 15 kappa. So, you know, you get a stack of it. It's a couple silver. Gets you a little money going. What's the name of your health bar add-on? Uh, it is called Shadowed Unit Frames. And honestly, I love it. I think there was another one. People were talking about it in chat. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I used to use that one, I think, way back in the day. Uh, but it's honestly uh, amazing. I, I literally cannot play WoW with it. Like, this this and Bartender are probably my two, other than Questy. Um, like, these are my two absolute favorites. Because it makes it easy to read everything, obviously. Um, and then, uh, like, when someone's healing, it shows you where the heal is going to land. If it lands within, like, the normal range as opposed to critting. Um... And so I really like it. It's like super kind. And you'll see when the party joins. I still have to modify it a little bit because I haven't set everything up. Like I need to use my bartender. Like I like to have my bar buttons here in the middle. I know a lot of people like make fun of it, but it's like whatever. You know what? It's my video game. I can play it how I want. And, uh, but yeah, you know, for starting out war, you don't have that many. Man, you can just farm this stuff so fast. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. Need to get a new weapon soon. But yeah, we're pretty much Baron's level because we did uh, we did RFC um, at a low level. I got quite a bit of experience out of it, and so I can kind of skip some of the stuff like Burning Blade Medallion. I don't need to go all the way. Down. Yeah, I don't need to go all the way down there. Like, get out of here, Valley of Trials. I literally just skip those quests because it's like on the new servers there's so many people playing and it's like what what's even the point of trying to do some of these quests like you might as well just go find a zone that's not totally camped by a million bajillion people oh but yeah honestly i've been loving it so far um mostly i think mostly you know what it is is just i love wow classic and i remember back in the day um during vanilla years 
uh, like every time they make a new server, I would always roll on the new servers. Cause I like, I was never a raider. It's interesting cause I was never a raider, but I was also never a join a big PVP guilder either. So pretty much my, what I have always enjoyed doing in WoW, and I'm trying to break this habit a little bit, is I love leveling, which I feel like is rare. I feel like not a lot of people love leveling um, in, in WoW Classic. Uh, I love it. I just find it so like relaxing. Like, I could literally sit here and talk to you guys for 38 hours in a row. And I mean, you know me, I like never stop talking, but also like, I, I just find it relaxing. It's like, it's like my, um, it's like my comfort spot. Ooh, just got a, sh a green shotgun. Shoddy. I already have a bow though. It's basically the same thing. So I'll just be vendoring that most likely. Yeah. See, I'm not the type to list something on the auction house to make like one silver. I don't know. Because if it doesn't work, you like lose that anyway. It's not really worth it. Um, yeah, it's basically therapy for me. But uh, anyways, so when I played WoW, I would basically just so like I I must be a masochist or like what's the right word where you just like love to feel pain? Is that masochist? I can never remember the right word. But anyways, I'm whatever that is because I would literally like solo queue Warsong Gulch. I would solo queue Altered Valley, solo queue Arathi Basin. And when you solo queue in WoW, um, especially if you're on like a losing faction back back during vanilla, um, it's basically you win less than 30% of your battlegrounds. And when I say like, I mean, and that's being generous in my opinion, um, but also it's just like, not only are you losing, but they are just like mind numbingly dumb losses. Like, or not dumb, but like, like just, just awful. It's like, oh, a Warsong Gulch that goes for 45 minutes. Um, it's, it's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So I don't know why, oh, my first overpower. I think that was my first overpower ever on this character. So that felt pretty good because I just trained it. Um, ooh, got a pouch. Got a pouch. How the hell do I get out of here? Honestly, I'm just killing stuff blindly. I don't actually know how I have to get out of here because I jumped in. Um, so yeah, I would do tons of PvP, but I would never rank up because I wasn't getting good honor because I was solo queuing. I would never get the best gear because my team just, I, I wasn't playing with people that were that great. Um, can we get out this way? I literally don't even know. And um, I didn't really like raiding and I always played classes that didn't really benefit from raiding. So like my druid and my mage and stuff like that, like it didn't really benefit you that much in PVP to raid. Like obviously if you had certain things, it was good, but honestly the blue PVP sets you could get were fine for PVP. So I was just content with that, even though I was getting a super slow, um, just kind of played it my own way. Uh, looking back, I do kind of wish that I would have been a little bit smarter with that stuff, but um, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. So anyways, that has been my WoW experiences. His point is, is every time a new server would come out, I would re-roll on that server because I just loved the leveling. I loved the feel of like a server that is new and um, hasn't been like figured out yet. And I don't know. I've, I've just always liked rolling on new servers where you don't see a ton of epic mounts running around. You don't see people raiding every single day. You don't see world buffs dropping every hour. Um, so I've been, I've been enjoying it and I know I've been taking it kind of slow a little bit, but yeah, that's all. I don't even know what the point of this whole conversation was to be completely honest, but I do know that I need to go turn in path of defense so I can start working towards getting my defensive stance, like a true warrior. Oh, I guess I should post this on discord. I'm streaming by the way. There we go. And we'll post it on discord. So we got to go to uh, live stream. Come join the stream. I actually didn't link to it correctly last time. I just noticed. HTTPS. Like, why do they still make us use that? Yes, I want to send it to the people who still have notifications on. They obviously, they obviously want that notification. Um, so, yeah. I'm currently level 12. 25 is the max. You know, and honestly, I don't feel like I need to rush it. It's like, yeah, we could rush it and do the do the raid or whatever. Go get some crazy PvP going. But the good thing about Horde is you have the Barons until, like, you know, close to level 20, if not a little bit higher. So you don't really have to be in PvP zones just yet. The true fans are on YouTube. Oh, good old YouTube. 
What will we do without YouTube? All right, I think I'm gonna run this way, maybe. I guess I have a quest to go find an amulet. Amulet. But yeah, I gotta skip some of the worst quests uh, here or over here, like I was saying, just because of the RFC run, and you get to turn in all the quests. And we had every single quest: the one from Undercity, Thunder Bluff, all that stuff. So I got quite a bit of experience, which was great. Oh, overpower. I don't have improved overpower yet, obviously, but it still feels good when it crits. Arky, you've been on YouTube since 07? That's pretty wild. I can't believe I started YouTube in like 08 or 09. I can't remember exactly what year it was, but um, that's only like a few years after it came out. It's kind of crazy to think about. Like, it's so weird, because I graduated high school in 2005, and like YouTube didn't exist for my entire high school career. I don't think career is the right word, but the entire time I was in high school, there was no YouTube. And so it's like, you think you have all these memories of watching YouTube in high school, but literally do not. Um, yo, what up, Jason? J, J, I can't really read it because it's a super dark purple and my screen is uh, not bright enough. Oh, snap. It's bad, bad D1Z. What's going on, man? I will, I will mutilate anybody's name at any time, free of charge. Don't you worry. Oh my god, look how little this is. He's so cute. He's so little. He's so little. You're in the guild? Nice man. Thanks for joining. I know I uh, spam out those invites, but I have no shame about it. It's so funny. Like today, so, like someone messaged me and was like, oh my god, I can't believe you're spam inviting. They were like... I hope you die, like blah blah. And then literally the next message was, "Oh my God, it's Husky! I'm so excited to join your random guild. Thanks for inviting me." So it's just like people. Wait, why is there? Why is there an arrow pointing this guy? What? What? Why is there an arrow pointing to it? <laughs> well, not anymore. That was peculiar. But I know it's hot. well. It looks like Hunter's Mark, but not on a dead. A dead Bob? It's supposed to disappear, right? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, snap. We got the amulet. Easy peasy. Does it really want me to run back over here? Oh, my God. I think I'll turn that in <laughs> off the stream. I don't want to run. There's so much running in this game. Like, I'm not going to do break a few eggs. Like, get out of here with that. It's like, are you guys kidding me? Yeah, we're not we're not running all the way back over there. All right, we'll go turn this in. We got a lot, we got a long run ahead of us. Don't you hate when names are taken? I didn't get the name Husky. I think someone on Alliance got the name Husky, and it really bums me out. Real, I like I literally logged in within f three or four seconds of the servers going live, and I missed the name Husky. I got the name Starcraft. I got the name Rosanna. I got Whirlwind. I got Cleave. <laughs> all these great names. Uh, we'll see if I use them for anything, but... You got High Diamond in StarCraft 2 in high school and watched me. That's incredible, man. I mean, that's about where I ranked, so it sounds like you and I kind of peaked. Kind of peaked it around the same... The same area. I basically, like, I love macro in StarCraft, and it's not to say, like, I, I don't understand that rushing has a very important place in RTS games. Um, but I was just never a big rusher. So it's like, I would just get as far as like my basic macro would take me. And like, you know, I, I didn't try and like perfect my strats. I didn't try and like, you know, get a lot better. I didn't try and increase my APM all crazy. I was just like, you know, I want to go as far as my, my, my understanding of the game will take me without giving it too much thought. And yeah, that was always high diamond. I think I was diamond every single season, and then I got masters that one season that the leagues were bugged. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it. I will glad... Oh, wait, wait. So I have to do fire graze or whatever. Isn't it like... I don't know. I'm going to do it somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Yeah. Okie dokie. So should I just go for it? I feel like I should. I feel like I should screw all this. I did, um, before the stream, I did run through Crossroads, Camp T, uh, Thunder Bluff, 
and just kind of grab the flight points for that just to make my life a little bit easier. But man, playing non-hardcore is like, like after playing hardcore, it just feels literally like a cakewalk. Like, it's so freaking easy. It's so freaking easy. Yeah, it's ingrained in you. I, it's the same way for me too. Like, honestly, what made me start of like, as far as like playing on ladder, what made me kind of start falling out of love with it, other than the StarCraft Online experience is one of the worst out of any game ever made. Um, like, I, I just hate things like Widow Mines. I hate things, like Banelings are okay because at least you see them coming. For the most part, it doesn't take the world's most insane micro to deal with, but like Widow Mines and like, then they added freaking like Adepts and like, reapers and like just all this gimmicky micro stuff to me just never felt starcrafty and it, and they just kind of like kept adding like and like disruptors and stuff i'm like this is just like it's not fun like the units just don't feel fun they feel necessary because it's designed that way but they don't feel fun and that's that's why i started to really miss like especially as more expansions came out like swarm hosts that's not fun it's not a fun unit and it's just like like I don't know. I, I just feel like they kind of missed the mark in all honesty and like the fun out. Oh, come on. We can do it. We, we got to stay true to ourselves, you guys. I don't think we can, my fat orc face can actually fit through here. Come on. We got to stay true. Oh, wait. Wait, if we go this way. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, boy. We got it. 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 Um, and it, it just kind of got to where it's like, I don't know. The units just never, a lot of them felt great. Like a lot, like, you know. There's a lot of it that felt good, but I don't know. It, it just kind of like, and even the changes they're making trying to, to fix the game and stuff, I'm just like, it still just doesn't feel fun to me. That's why I made the uh, the Brood War 2 mod. I was like, we're going to make units fun again. Like, that's what it's all about. It's all about how you micro them. It's not about, like, the, the gimmicks of, like, a Reaper has a roll for three minutes in the game and then you never see it again. Like, it's, it's, it's just not great. <sighs> now, unlike WoW, the world's most fun game. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go... We got to get our warrior quest, guys. Wait, wait. I do have defensive stance now? Oh, okay. Okay, so I do have defensive stance. Oh, God. I got I to gotta do all these hotkeys and everything. Maybe it's Sunder Armor going. God, I can't even remember what, um, what my hotkeys were on my... Wait, when did I get Sunder? I must have learned it from from that guy. I thought I thought the next quest is the one that gave me um, that, but I guess it is not. Let's see. There's that. Can I do Victory Rush over here? Can I use Victory? Yep, yeah, Victory Rush and East Stance sounds good. We gotta get good old Thunderclap, which with my rune I can use um, in any stance. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Charge. You can't use that. Any? It has to be battle stance. All right. Good enough. I mean, we we don't need no. I guess I could do my racial. We don't need a. Uh... Oh. It's, there's that. One. I guess we'll do Q. No. See, setting up all this stuff. The good thing about Warrior is once you um. Wait, I also need heroic strike. I need to look at my hotkeys of my uh, of my un or of my uh, hardcore character, just so I can copy those. Cause I literally forget, even though I've been using them. I should use a stance stance macro. I know I literally have a hotkeyed, but like, you know, people do all these macros or like the shield swapping and all that. And it's like I know I need to. I need to be better about that. I truly do. Um, I actually used to. Oh yeah, so this is. These are all one-handed. Nobody wants. Nobody wants one-handed. Bring the forged steel bars. All right, dude's got a fleeting plane strider is kind of hanging out. All right, the forged steel bars are there. So I think we're gonna go to the good old crossroads. Get them. Get them quests. 
We get to read. Uh, we get to read Baron's chat. You know, it is the true WoW experience. Is this part of the game right here? You're not really playing WoW until you've done the Barons. I mean, we got some quality chat going on here, guys. Ugh. Feels good. All right, can I abandon any of these quests? Dark Moon Fair is coming. Gotta make sure to get that sweet buff. I gotta do RFC one more time because I wasn't able to get one of the quests. I don't even want to speak with Margaz. Like, am I really gonna run all the way over there to speak to Margaz? I don't know. TBD. Which one do I like better, Horde or Alliance? Uh, what up, Normal Blue? Mr. First Time Chatter over there. Love to see it. Um, honestly, in my heart, I have always been Horde. Uh, when I first started playing WoW, I was Alliance because my friend uh, was Alliance. and He's the one who got me into the game. So I was Alliance for quite a while. Um, but I just loved Horde as soon as I started playing. Like when I finally switched over. Um, just my experience with the players is that Horde players tend to be more my more my style of putting up with long term uh obviously there's overlap and like i have horde and alliance characters so obviously it's not a generalization but it, it's just the people i found on horde was was cooler uh i just love like it, it feels more like you're playing a fantasy game like you know you have orcs you have uh tauren you have undead you have like, it, it just, like, look at this. This looks, like, we got trolls. Like, it's just, it's colorful, it's fun, it's diverse, it's unique. Uh, it's, it's just cool. And then it's like, you play Alliance, and you have humans, you have blue humans, and then you have short humans and shorter humans, <laughs> is honestly what it feels like. Like, everybody kind of feels the same, in my opinion. Um, and I, it just kind of bores me. But obviously, man, like, like, Alliance are so good at PvE, it's kind of stupid. Paladins are really, really fun. Like, there's nothing against it and whatever. I, I just feel like the Horde, it feels more like you're playing a game as opposed to, like, I'm playing Second Life <laughs> with with spells. So that's just my, my personal hot take on the whole situation. But obviously, everyone, you know, do whatever the hell you want. It literally does not matter. Uh, it's, a, it's a video game, so... I, I was enjoying my Gnome Warrior quite a bit. He is still alive. Which is kind of great. I can't wait to do Wailing Caverns, honestly. Buy a Windrider to Ogremar. I'm not gonna do that yet. I, we just we just got to Crossroads. I mean, look how much look how poppin' it is. It is Mary Poppins up in here. Yeah, we are getting all these quests. What do I think of the storylines? I do not do lore at all. I don't like to read. I don't like to sit around and wait for NPCs to talk to me. I don't like to watch cinematics. I don't like, honestly, if, if we're being honest, I know, I know I'm know i supposed to say like, oh, I'm a big lore nerd. Oh, Blizzard, they really messed up this story from, from you know, 2006. Is They really messed up Arthas's uh, origin story. It's like, I literally don't care at all. Like, I get that, like, the original StarCraft has a good story, and, like, I get blah, blah, blah. But it's more just, like, are the characters cool? Is the game cool? Like, is the PvP good? Like, that's honestly the stuff that I care about. Um, and I'm, I'm just not one to, like, read the quests and, like, well, what 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 is Sylvanas going to say about that? I literally don't care. Honestly, why is Sylvanas everywhere? They are, like, all in on Sylvanas. I feel like ev like someone at Blizzard has, like, a love affair with Sylvanas, or at least did before they quit, uh, because I feel like everywhere I look, and even in freaking uh, Warcraft Rumble, one of the first, the, well, literally the first hero you unlock from uh, the battle pass or whatever is Sylvanas, of course. Why would it be anything else? And yeah, honestly, like, wow, it's supposed to be, or like, Warcraft is supposed to be kind of dark. Does this guy have one HP? Like, can you stop already? Can you skin a snake? No, guess not. Guess can't be making them snakeskin boots. I should have vendored stuff for sure. Not quite sure why I didn't, but it's too late now. It's too late now. We can we can get rid of one light feather. Got 
Gotta keep my skinning knife. I keep vendoring it by accident. Alright, we gotta we gotta pop our flasks here. That the guildies donated to me. Check it out. 50 armor. Bam. Four strength. Oh dude, we gotta get our, our sharpened our sharpened axe going. Love it. Get battle shot going, dude. We are fully buffed. We are fully buffed. We are ready to raid. Didn't realize this guy had a wolf, but I think we're gonna be okay. Ooh, 120. Can you imagine, guys, once I upgrade this two-hander? It is over. It is over. What have they added to the newer WoW? Um, so they added this rune system. You basically find runes in, in different ways. Uh, and it unlocks different stuff, which basically buffs your abilities. Um, and you have to apply the rune to a piece of gear. So, like, the one that gives me Victory Rush, which is an instant attack after you kill a mob that heals you. And you can only use it after each uh, time you kill a mob. Um, you have to apply it to, like, the gloves. So you can only have one rune, I'm assuming, per item. Um, and then it kind of shows the rune here. Oh, wait, wait I got to do the... I gotta do the ones on my pants here. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Not that I'm really gonna use it, but uh, yeah. So the, the the rune system basically it's like giving new roles to classes like that haven't tanked before, haven't healed, uh, whatever. I think they're trying to make it more diverse and more fun, so that oh my god, look at this. There's like more players than there are mobs right now. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Forged steel bars, is it on the ground? Oh yeah, us warriors know what this is. Us warriors are gonna be grabbing this right away. And uh, yeah, they had some random quests. They added world PVP stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a WoW expansion. It wasn't exactly what I wanted in a WoW expansion, but or a WoW Classic expansion, I should say. But, you know, at least they're doing something. Like, it wasn't free for them to to do this. So, definitely appreciate them trying to, to keep WoW feeling like Classic. Which was always my favorite. Oh no, my face cam turned off. You know what it is? I think, uh... Hold on. Let me let me try. Let me turn it off for just a sec. I think the uh, it came unplugged, and the battery died. And so when I plugged it back in, I think it like doesn't have enough charge in the battery even when it's even when it's getting. Um... Hold on. Let me uh, let me just put that over there for now. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let my my good old camera charge for a sec. Thanks for the heads up, fam. And there's something to do with this flag running around. I don't fully understand what it is. Man, we gotta kill plane striders. We have to basically kill every single mob that we find. And there's just so many people. Hey, it's an alliance named Panda. Feel like I should uh, attempt to PvP them. Oh, see? See, they're trying it. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Think anyone will join me? This guy's literally skull to me. Let's do it. You know what? Screw it. Let's see if anybody joins in. Nope. They're not going to join in, are they? <laughs> Wait, wait, we gotta pop a pot. Oh wait, he's actually not gonna kill me. Oh wait, is he gonna hunt me down? The pet's coming. The pet's coming. Guys, we could've, we could've like, could've ganged up on him. Totally could've ganged up on him. It's all right. I'm, I'm a PVPer at heart. You know, there's no, there's no logical reason that I should be attacking a Skull Alliance player. But hey, it's fun. And that's the whole point of PvP. Uh -huh. 
feel like I gotta just attack anybody. The thing that sucks about Warrior, though, is like... Like, when you're leveling, every other class basically beats you one-on-one. -on -one. Like, especially if they get the jump on you. Like, you just you just don't stand a chance. They can kite you. They can CC you. They can, like, get range on you. It, it's just, like, you don't really stand uh, an equal chance. So, okay, let's see, if I can, let's see if I can fix this camera now. Let's see if it'll actually... Let's see if it'll, if it'll pop in. All right, don't worry, guys. I'm not actually a blue circle... Okay, it's trying. All right, well it's there for now. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get for now. It might it might turn off again. Oh, wait, wait. Let me cuz you have to also hit the record button and then it makes it look better. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming. It's coming, you guys. Don't worry. We only have top tier streams here. Come on, camera. You can do it. I know you can do it. Yeah, look at that better quality. I'm eventually going to redo my whole setup so it's like way more profesh, but we've been building that film studio uh, and that's been taking up a lot of our time. So I'm going to I'm going to redo this setup a little bit later. There's so much stuff that like I don't, I don't even want to carry this stuff. Like ice cold milk. How am I keeping it so cold? That's the that's the real question. I don't need one heavy linen bandage. This one's heavy wool, right? Or no, it was heavy linen, right? What was it? Yeah, ten heavy linen, which I'll uh, have off these guys pretty easily. So I guess I should have kept it. But life goes on, man. Talk about a party. Talk about a party going on here. <laughs> this is why I like I don't even want to bother with quests. Look at how many people are here. Absolutely wild. I more just want to like kill mobs, honestly. I feel like it's just better to be grinding at this point. I mean I could do one more RFC, I suppose. How's the kitchen coming on the studio? Did you guys get materials picked out yet? Uh, oh no, is it not doing my uh my chat notifications anymore? Oh god, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Definitely was reading chat, but hey, this isn't hardcore. Even if I do die, which I am going to right here, it don't matter because guess what? It's not hardcore. Wait, let me kill that guy. Aww, thought we could get him. Hockey, you uh, you officially got me killed. It is one hundred percent your fault. <laughs> no, like honestly, I've been enjoying dying because I know that there's literally no consequence other than I get to like sit back and relax while I. Will I run back to my body? And honestly, at this level, I should just spear... You know what? Maybe I'm just going to spear res. Screw it. Because at this level, I think the debuff is only like a minute. And then I could sell a bunch of stuff. So while I may have died, you actually have done me a favor. You've actually done me a huge favor. Like, how long is it if I, if I return to life? Yeah, it's literally two minutes. By the time I'm out of town, it's going to be gone. At low levels, man, spirit resing is the way to go. Literally saves time. Now I don't want you guys to like freak out, but I'm gonna i I'm gonna vendor this bag. I'm gonna vendor it. It's out of here, man. See, I don't need this anymore, right? Tailoring supplies. Oh yeah, we're just gonna vendor our leather for now. Cause it only sells, yeah, vendors for three and sells for five. I'm not gonna take the time to do all that for two silver. But we're almost out of gold, boys. Almost at one gold. Screw, I'm gonna vendor my gun. Can't use that yet, can't use that yet. Fine leather boots, I'm not gonna take the time to auction house it. All right, there we go. Oh, we actually just passed a gold. We are at one G's. Now we're gonna go look. Literally, by the time Horde War Banner, what does it do? Carrying a banner of the Horde drops on death. See, I don't, I don't know what this does. I literally don't know what this does, other than make you look super cool. No, it's not the same stream. I did, uh, I think I did use a thumbnail on YouTube, but I'm like, you know what? I've only slept once, so it still counts as launch day. 
In my opinion, it still can't. What level is this guy? He's not doing any damage. That <laughs> It's like a fair fight over there. He is uh, not burning him down. All right, okay, so we're going to go turn this in. I did get a little bit of sleep, but not a lot. I think I got like three and a half, four hours. I need to buy arrows, actually. Dude, this... This cougar. <laughs> oh, you guys. See, I, I'm i so casual now because hardcore has traumatized me that I'm literally, as I'm auto running, I'm just like, oh, what's chat saying? What's, uh, what's chat saying? As I forgot that I did have my res sickness. So homie just absolutely obliterated me. I love how I'm all talking smack about that shaman. Who I'm like, oh, it's a pretty tough fight for him. He's not really doing a lot. And then I literally get killed while I'm running with with <laughs> not paying attention. But hey, I'm a I'm a top tier gamer, you guys, as you know. Although, to be fair, in hardcore I haven't died yet. Level 60, level 55, or 56, or 54. I'm not great with numbers. And my level 22 paladin. Zero deaths. So I, you know, if I want to turn it on. You know what I'm saying? If I want to turn it on, I can I can play without dying, all right? I, I think I have proven myself. So we can take our judgment, and we can re-roll a paladin so we can go judge stuff. There, look at me. There's me just super dead. Wait, apparently I was holding my bow. <laughs> I don't know why, why I'm holding my bow. Wait, this just shows that I should be able to use my two-hander in one hand. Because for some reason, I'm holding my bow in the other hand. I should be able to use a bow and a two-hander at the same time, in my opinion. I think that's only fair. Okay, come on, dude. Come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. I know you... Oh, my God. I'm really going to run over here, maybe. Run to the other one. All right, no more summoning things. We, we have got to be serious, guys, because we just wasted our flasks. You know, some people call them potions. I call them flasks. Because that's what they are. Oh, yeah. We're popping all our cooldowns. We are sundering his armor. Like, what armor does a plane strider really have? And what does sunder mean? Okay, this guy's actually kicking my butt, too. I, I take back all the, all the poop talking I did on the other guy. Because I obviously am not cut out. I'm not cut out for these fights. Wait, this still seems pretty steep, too. Oh my god, I literally just want to get up to this guy, right? Can you just let me up this mountain? Is this one too steep? Do I gotta go over one more? Oh, oh, oh! Always love climbing mountains in, uh, <laughs> in good old WoW. It's like, can he make it? Oh my god, the physics. The physics. Alright, we'll go over one more. We'll go over one more. Well, yeah, they're potions of the Diablo. These are called potions, too. They're not called flasks until it's the really high-end ones that, like, cost, like, 50 gold and use them for raiding. So all the raiders are like, ah, make sure you got your flasks. Everyone, uh, make sure you got your flasks. We're going to be checking if you have your flasks. It's just like they, so I like to call everything a flask because, again, I don't take while that serious. Is this going to be another one that's too steep? Why am I feeling like this is going to be too steep? All I want to do is get up to Homie up here, who apparently lives on top of a mountain. I'm tempted to go try and skin that, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be seduced by the siren's call of skinning. Ooh, but this one is kind of calling me a little bit. You guys think I'm going to fall if I skin this? No, I got it. Look how far you can skin away, or how far away you can skin. Ooh, Homie gave me two light leather. Double it up. That's 30 copper. That is 30 copper, you guys. Hello. I'd have to... I can't remember if I trained level... No, I did train level 12 because overpower is level 12. So, don't have to worry about spending money on that. It says that one sells for the most. So, guess we'll get our dorky warrior sword that we're, we don't even need. Because we are two-hander for life. Two-handers for life. I feel like I should just go... Okay, guys, you think I can jump off here, charge mid-air, take no fall damage? Because we're not on hardcore anymore. We don't care. I don't know if I can jump that far. Ugh. Oh, okay. Well, that was, 
That was very anticlimactic. But worth. Definitely worth it. Skill and skinning. Oh, oh. Skill and skinning has reached level 60. God, skinning is so easy. It's such free money. It's got to be the easiest profession in the entire game, other than, like, maybe first aid. But even first aid, you, like, got to find cloth. Ooh, that guy's level 16. A little bit out of my kill range. Yeah, I keep forgetting I'm only level, uh... Requires skinning level 70. Oh my god. I'm basically just trying to go down to Ratchet, grab grab some more quests over there. Oh, little raptor. You guys think I take on a level 16 raptor? I don't know, as a warrior, it's a little dicey. Warriors can't really do anything until they have gear and levels. Wait, do I need hooves? Oh, I don't need hooves yet. We have not transcended to the hoof part of the game. Woo! I remember I used to think I was so cool. Wait, I'm not even running the right way. Uh, when you jump and you're like, oh, 360. Oh, 640 or 720. 7, 720. Oh, 1080. <laughs> And when you have your epic mount, you can jump even higher. It's pretty great. Target is tapped, it says. You love the Diwali photos you posted? Thanks, man. Honestly, Diwali is like one of my favorite holidays now. Our friend um, Lily Singh, uh, she throws the most epic Diwali party every year. And uh, she invites, I don't know how many people are there. It's a bunch, but it's like the coolest party that we go to all year and we look forward to it all year we've already started shopping for our next uh diwali outfits and each year we're st we're trying to step it up so if you like look at our outfits from each year we're gonna try and step it up each year um and diwali is just a phenomenal holiday it's like such a good thing to celebrate the people are always cool the food is amazing um and Lily, she literally says on the invite, like, everyone please wear traditional attire. Like, it's highly encouraged. Um, and it's it's just fun. Like, it's just so fun to, like, immerse yourself. Oh, excuse me. Drinking bubbly water. Immerse yourself in that and just, like, learn and have good times and good people and good music. So, it's, it's honestly, like, one of my favorite things that we do each year. And I hope I hope Lily keeps doing it. Because I think, I think we've gone to three or four of them. And every year it's just been better than the last, so kind of love to see it. Oh my god, Indian weddings? Are you kidding, man? It sounds so fun. I've never I've never been to like a, a big traditional one. But we have we have friends who have and um, friends who have had their own Indian weddings and stuff, and it's just like it's just so fun. Like the fashion is so incredible. Like I don't know if the fashion's always been incredible because I, you know, it wasn't something that I had looked into in the past. But like the the dress designers and stuff are so incredible. It is it's it's so fun. Like we were we were looking up a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different like designers and stuff, and they're just oh oh love it. So great. Oh man, we are all piling in here. Oh snaps, he got the level. Wait, didn't I get a level? Gotta get my extra 1% to crit. What up, Dom the Bomb FNAF? <laughs> uh, that name always cracks me up. Good to see ya. Alright, gotta get these ratchet quests. I don't think I have anything to put in the bank. So many quests. All right.
right. Ooh, I can actually wear this now. It's like, I guess technically. Oh, no, it is an upgrade because I was wearing leather. That one I can do next level. Just vendor. I'm always trying to sell my quest items. I'm like, you guys sure you don't want this quest item? I really don't want to finish this quest. All right, I already got the uh, Booty Bay flight points. I don't need to hop on there. Don't need to do that. And then who's got this quest? Oh, the captain dude is up there. It's going to be a red quest, though. Probably not going to be doing that. I always like to look at these dorky uh, vendor sets. Like, scale mail. And just, like, put it all on. Like, I've done this so many times. Mighty. Wait, it says plate. He doesn't sell plate, though. What's fun about these new servers is sometimes the vendor gear is actually, like, kind of low-key worth it. <laughs> Especially on hardcore. You can resell that stuff. It's so great. All right, well, I'm definitely not going that way. We got to go back towards the lobbies. Right into Ogremar. I mean, I feel like I should almost just do that. So many quests, though. I mean, look at that map. Basically, you just got to kill anything you see. People talking about Xiaomi tanks. So fun. Love that they're trying to give new roles to people. Oh my god, there's so much running in this game. I think I need to go find the lower level stuff. Is the map bigger than Skyrim? There's no way, although I mean I don't play Skyrim, but there's no way it's bigger than Skyrim. Right? Isn't Skyrim known for like being huge? Again, I don't really I don't really play Skyrim, so I can't can't speak on that, but I feel like WoW is big but it's not like I don't know maybe I'm just so used to it now it's big but it like especially WoW Classic it doesn't feel like unreasonably big what is that desert mirage dude's an elite oh well not oh it's uh something for the shaman it looks like He's all buffing me and healing me. What a champ. What an absolute chad, as they say. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The sleep is really kicking in now. Or lack of sleep, I should say. If I can actually find any mobs to kill. I'm not even on the hooves yet. I'm gonna have mad money, dude. Skinning is the future. I guess I can run up towards the razor mains again. You know what? I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill a zebra. I'm getting bored not finding anything to kill. This is a pretty, pretty intense battle there. 
Nailed it. Gotta use these bandages. Oh, and then we're we're taking on the raptor. This raptor doesn't stand a chance. Victory rush him right in the face. It's over. Yeah, you can get um you can get gaming PCs for so cheap now. The one that uh I bought one for an editing computer recently, uh from Zydax, I think. X I D A X Zydax PCs. Like for like nine hundred bucks you can get a computer that's just fine for like the majority of gaming. Um and like, yeah, I know nine hundred bucks isn't like free, obviously, but like it's just so easy, and like one of the um, one of the computers showed up with a dead graphics card, and they didn't even question it. They literally just sent me a new one, and it was like this is incredible because I would have to deal with doing all of this um, on my own if I built it myself. So honestly, I'm kind of like very pro buy computers now because there's so many companies that's like they build them the exact same way I would, only their cable management's much better, and they they deal with all the R, what is it? We have to return a return an electronic R E R E M R R C T. I can't remember. I haven't done it in so long. Um, yeah, they deal with all that. That was is the way to go. But yeah, wait wait until they go on sale. You know, never a never a bad call. But yeah, I used to build all my own computers all the way up until. Uh, Basically until I had done YouTube for a little while and I started to meet people who were like so much better at it than I was. Um, I used to build all my own PCs for like all of high school, all of college. I was definitely one of those guys who's like, I'll never buy a computer. And now they're like not that much more expensive than just <laughs> uh, like buying it instead of building it. So I am very pro that now. And I used to like help all my friends and like build their computers and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you dork. He thinks he's so cool with his explosive shot, but I'm gonna skin this and I'm gonna be the real winner. Look at that, he wishes he had a light leather. He wishes he had light leather. Oh my God, I feel like am I ever gonna level with all this skinning? Oh, he's gonna get that one too. Hunters, dude, they it's the class that is made for stealing your mobs. It is 100% made for stealing your mobs. Priest over there wanding as a priest should. I know Baron's is pretty exciting content, not gonna lie. It is very exciting content. I can't even skin fast enough because literally there's <laughs> I'm not gonna make it anywhere. You know, welcome to skinning simulator, you guys. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Yeah, whatever. We'll fight this guy. Oh my god, why is there a million million cats running around everywhere? Oh, I am so happy to have Sunder, though. Is it rude to uh, yawn on stream? Like, how many of you did I just make yawn? How many dice start a chain reaction around the world? Like, imagine if someone like Asmund or uh, XQC or QVC or... Uh, CVS or whatever his name is. Imagine if he did a yawn. I mean, that would start a chain reaction that I don't know if we could uh, actually recover from. That I mean, those people have way too much power when it comes to yawn. Like they could they could make any country yawn on command. Now, that is too much power for one person to have. There's a bit on that in the Dr. Seuss sleep book. He would write about that. He definitely would write about that. <laughs> Thinking the atmosphere would ignite. I mean, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of starting to see his point of view. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm I'm gonna be pretty yawny. If if we're being completely honest, I'm gonna be very yawny this stream. I literally cannot skin as fast as these people are killing mobs. I do kind of need this raptor, however. I don't think I'm going to get him before he evades. I mean, dude didn't skip cardio, that's for sure. Whoops, Sochi. Sorry if uh, everybody's now manually yawning. I do apologize. 
Although I'm also going to like, you know, spoiler alert, there will be more yawns. I think I'm actually addicted to this game, guys. I think that is uh, the clinical diagnosis. You know, they say they say you really shouldn't self-diagnose yourself. I think that's like a big a big thing that people are pushing back against. Um, but I'm going to. <laughs> I love WoW. It's amazing. Especially Classic WoW. I don't think I could play retail. Like, if they paid me to pay retail, I could, like, maybe do it. But it's not something that I... I personally just don't enjoy. Although, I, I don't know what their PvP... Like, what PvP is like in um, retail right now. All I know is that arenas were awful. I hated arenas. And the fact that they never added more... I mean, I talked about this in the last stream, so I won't talk about it forever. But, like, they never added another Warsong Gulch, another Arathi Basin. They always tried to make gimmicky versions where it's like, well, now you're capturing a flag, and you're holding a point, and you're escorting a cart. And I'm like, just make another capture the flag. Like, straight up, no gimmicky rules, no weird systems. Literally just... I don't know what all that stuff is. Um, literally just give me another capture the flag. Like, it's literally not that hard. Uh, but apparently it was because they never freaking did it. Oh, my poor face cam. Oh, no. Dude, this is what happens is I unplugged it earlier today. And then I think it, it has to like, because it'll let me, it'll let me keep it plugged in forever. Uh, but it needs like a full battery because, you know, it fluctuates um, as it's, as it's doing a different. Oh, snap. Someone actually subscribed. Okay, so that notification is working. But where's my chat? I thought my chat's supposed to be popping up. Maybe I'm tripping and I just don't see it. But uh, yeah, at least the notification works now when like someone subscribes. Like that was literally on YouTube. That was uh, Bailey Hirschleb, which honestly, Bailey, I'm assuming female, she probably doesn't even know that I'm streaming right now. And that is what is fantastic about the new notification system that I found, is even if you subscribe on YouTube now, it'll, uh, it'll push that notif. So, I don't know. It's the little things in life. All right, well, you saw how long that lasted, so I'm just going to let, let the camera charge a little bit. And for now, you can, uh, hopefully just my voice is enough to carry us through these trying times. You know, I, you've, you've lived so long without my face cam. Oh, guys, it's going to aggro 500 people. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skidoodle over here. Uh, what? Homie aggroed from a million miles away. Get out of here, dude. Oh, he dodged, though. That's really his loss. Dude, I think I got this. I think, I, yeah, dude, I reset him. Oh my god, they're all coming for me. All right, hopefully these guys are gonna tag some mobs. I'm still, I'm still confident though. I mean, I got victory rush now, dude. I'm gonna be victory rushing these fools like crazy. Look at it, I'm so good at video games. See, look, when I want to survive, when I'm, when I'm pinging at 500 APM, uh, I, I can just, I just go nonstop. Uh, let's see. Are you playing on which or which server? This one is Lone Wolf. We are a horde, obviously. And this is Season of Discovery. And we did make a guild called Husketeers. So if you want to join, just whisper anyone in the guild. Um, it's pretty active, pretty fun. Everybody's fairly chill. And if they're not, I just kick them and life goes on, you know? As, uh, as it should be. But yeah, definitely love that. I'll, uh, I'll turn on the old... Although, right now, I have the most viewers that I've had this entire stream, and it's also when I don't have my camera on. So, I think I think we are all learning. We're all learning that people just don't want the, the face cam. And it's fine. You know, I don't take it that personal. It just means that you don't want to see my face, which is whatever. Man, look at, look at the druids. They just get a spam wrath. Look, it doesn't cost any mana. When they have the rune, it literally costs no mana to spam wrath. Kind of tempted to roll a druid, not going to lie. Just wraith, wrath spam all day? Yes, please. Sounds pretty bomb to me. Alright, let's see. Do I need that yet? I don't... What, what are the chances you think I can make it over to this guy before someone else tags him? Actually, I might. Everyone kind of went the other way. Got him. Dude, when you play like this, 
not only does it keep your APM up, not only does it make you look cooler, it makes you better at video games. It's a it's a scientific fact that that indeed makes you better at video games. See, I still need these guys, right? I think I need, I think I still need everything. Sunder. Get, get my Sunder on. I can't believe I'm leveling another warrior after I literally just leveled. I mean, that is, that is the crazy side of me. And the thing is, I never even get that geared. And, like, the everyone who rolls a warrior is always, like, the people who know that they're going to have a support system for getting geared. I'm just, like, I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be geared someday. And then it's, like, no, not really. I am going to get that Ice Barb Spear, though. That is where it is at. I mean, you can't get it. It's going to be, like, a year before you can get that. But whatever. It's coming. Someday you'll be tuning into a stream where my Orc Warrior has an Ice Barb Spear. And we are going to love that for each other. And you know what's crazy is in all the history of like me streaming and doing YouTube and playing WoW, like I've never streamed WoW that much. Like, because people back in the StarCraft days hated it. Like, hated it. Like, I mean, so many gatekeepers in the StarCraft community. I'm like so over it. But like, especially back then when I would play WoW, it was just like, oh, you're a sellout. Oh, you're doing it for blah 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 oh 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 i'm like guys it's literally a video game like everybody chill out your video game is not better than their video game like for the love of god chill out they never could though never could but you know i'm almost 40 uh i'm not gonna gatekeep a video game i got much better things to do with my time like sleep <laughs> and play wow <laughs> i got much better things to do uh what up ghost what up, ghost? Uh, oh god, last time I read chat, I died. I'm gonna turn on my camera here in just a sec. It's been um, it's been a little finicky today because, well, I'd like I'd like to say it's it's just bad luck, but it's actually user error for sure. Cause I accidentally had it unplugged and then the battery's dead and then it's a whole thing. But uh, we are gonna be back soon with the with the good old face cam. Although I I did take note from you guys and I was watching some other streamers. And I do feel like my face was a little bit close to camera. It was a little bit big. So I'm, I'm taking a more casual, laid-back approach where it's not just a face cam. It's, like, also a chest cam. And I know that that works for uh, certain other types of streamers. But for me, it doesn't really add any, any, uh, any value to the stream. But it does make me not so in your face. So I feel like that is, that is a win. Okay, so let, let's try the camera again. Shall we? Shall we? I think I uh, left that. I think I, I think I let it charge long enough. Okay, let's see. So it'll pop in, and then I have to hit record. I don't know why I even use the tracker. I don't actually need it. See, I don't need these guys anymore. But at this point, I'm just killing any mob that I can find. Okay, so there's that. I almost feel like maybe I don't even. No, I want to hit record. We gotta we gotta get it in HD. All right. So there we go. And then it's gonna do its little thing. It's gonna do its little thing. But uh, what are you guys up to this weekend? Got any fun plans? There we go. Look, it even gives me more skin color, which is nice. Like skin, uh, like uh, vibrance. Is that the word? Like, no, it makes it, it looks like more skin tone. Skin tone's the right word. Because um, otherwise, on that default setting, man, it just washes me out even, even more so than I already am in real life, which I didn't actually think was possible. But turns out it is. Man, more and more people are starting to, to join. Okay, I just need one Water Seeker. Like, where are the chances you guys think I actually can get a Water Seeker? Uh, not, not great. I can tell you that much. Um, Chen's Empty Keg. That quest is awful. I almost don't... I'm not only thinking I'm going to do Chen's Empty Keg. That quest is actually awful. Okay, that wasn't the guy I needed, but I'm going to take it. At this point, you take what you can get. And sometimes this is how life works out. Ooh, 118. Love the orc crit animation too. It's so dramatic. Oh my god, you stole what was gonna be my mob. Obviously, I am the main character. I'm the next thrall. So, all right, I need a one water seeker. Are you a wa oh, it totally is a water seeker. Loving myself right now. Actually, I love myself always. I like in general. I'm like a fairly happy person. Um, and I realize that. 
I feel bad for people who can't be happy because it's awesome and I hope that they are able to uh, get the help they need because being happy is a good thing you guys I know I know we're we're dropping knowledge knowledge bombs and, and hot takes on uh, on this stream but uh, yeah anyways I love wow to answer your question and I never get bored of it for some reason like I could literally play this forever which uh, would not recommend playing one thing forever, but it is what it is. All right, so I got that done. I think I'm done with those guys. Now the plane striders are kind of everywhere, so I'm not gonna specifically hunt those down. I could go get the supply crates. Ready for the retirement pods? Honestly. I was feeling pretty festive today. I don't know if you guys are in the uh, holiday spirit this year, but I sure am. I'm feeling very festive this year. It might be because we put up our Christmas trees November 1st, because that's when we start filming our holiday content. So we've been in the holiday spirit uh, already for over a month. But I feel like the older I get, the more I appreciate the holiday season, because it's just like everybody trying to be happy. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? That is a good cause. That is a great cause. Come here, you little bird. Gotcha. All right, I mean, when there's this many mobs, I gotta try and loot them before they disappear. Oh my god, new socks when you're older? God, honestly, that's all I want for Christmas is like all new socks. Like my entire drawer, I just want to be, can you ima imagine this? Oh my god, Are you, if you're not wearing shoes right now, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like your feet are nice and clean and you open up your sock drawer. Every single sock in there is a new pair of sock and every single pair matches. It's all the same brand. It's all your favorite. There's no missy matchy. There's no having to figure out which sock goes with which. I mean, that's honestly, that's honestly the American dream right there. Like that's, that's honestly, I think all I want in, uh, in, in for Christmas this year. You know, you know, there's like family and spending quality time and like, you know, big fan of that. But secondary is I want all new socks. My like just out with the old, get get those old stinky socks out of here. Whole new drawer, fresh socks. I'm here for it. I am 100% here for it. Come here, you dumb bird. All right, we'll fight this guy while we wait. Dang, homie's knocking me down. Come here, bird. I like how the bird finally gets the confidence to run back at me. The bird's like, I've thought about it, and actually I think I can finish him off. Can you imagine the bird all runs at me? He's got execute. It just obliterates me. Honestly, I'm just going to be a leather farming bot. Like, each of these sell for three silver. I'm going to be so rich. I'm already at a gold 20 silver. It's out of control. I should just pick up leather working, honestly. Oh my god, it's so hard for me not to go loot all that. Because eventually I have to get, you know, quests done, but... It is so hard for me not to go loot all that. Look at that. That's literally money right there. It's money sitting sitting out on the field. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep vendoring it just so I can buy like there's um there was, I doubt it's still up, but um the blue BOE club that's uh, level 16. 
it was like one gold, 40 silver bid, and I'm like, I kind of low-key want that. I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it in time. It's probably already off the auction house, but I'm like, oh, I so want to pay that. Although it's like, you know, the level cap is so low, you're going to be farming for weapons, so they're not going to be that valuable, but still. Still. I still want it. All right, we'll see if we can actually get these supplies over here. Or is there going to be 10 million people still waiting? Doesn't look like it's as many, actually. Oh, my God, the supplies are literally right there. Oh, my God, can I get it? Are these guys aggroing everything? Oh, no, homie got it. Because you only need one, right? Maybe the one down here is less busy. Nope, those guys are all running there. This is what I'm talking about. It's going to take like an hour to like loot this one quest item. Is it even worth it? Scientists can't decide. Like how long is this going to take to... Like I literally just have to sit here and click it even though it hasn't spawned yet. And all these mobs spawn like crazy. Come on, where you at, crate? Ooh, 126 victory rush? Get out of here. Dude did not stand a chance. I think this is where they spawn, right? Yeah. I don't think they spawn elsewhere in this base. Oh, 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 boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, stop running, stop running. Nobody spawn. Nobody spawn. Got him. I uh, got him. All right, got that one random quest done. Feeling pretty good about ourselves. Anyone want to do RFC? I mean, honestly, I would. I'm level 13 now. Be a cakewalk. Although I refuse to use the sword and board, so... Two handers only. All right, well, let's see. Guess we'll run towards town to turn in these two quests. Why no sword and board? Is this so slow and boring and I mean, they're they're making it where uh, the rune I have is like really good. Um, when you're in defensive stance and have a shield equipped, Sunder Armor also deals sixty percent weapon damage uh, and increases increased by six percent of uh, each Sunder Armor that you have. So it literally like you basically end up doing essentially weapon damage every time you Sunder and you're spamming Sunder. So it's actually really good. Like it's making oh my first light hide. I got two of them. Love that. Um, so it like it's the runes that are like trying to make things more fun, but I'm still kind of stuck in the old, uh, <laughs> the old ways, uh, the ways of our ancestors. We miss you on Defias Pillager. I know. I was thinking about that today, but it's only been like two days. So I'm like, you know, I know I'm not there right now, and I'm sure that there's like way less people. How how active is the guild? Because normally there'd be like, like on peak hours, like maybe like 80 people on. Um, but I was also actively recruiting. Hey! Got the old Zombie Waddles subscription. Uh, thanks, Sogard, for subscribing with your good old Prime. If anybody else happens to have Prime, just, you know, collecting dust on the shelf. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. But, uh, no, I, seriously, I appreciate it. Um, I know, it's so quiet. That's what I was worried about, is like, uh, it kind of sucks that they really hit their stride with Hardcore. 
and then they release something that directly competes with hardcore. Like it's because it's like I want to try all the new stuff and I can't help it. It's like just as a WoW fan, it's like I can't help but want to try the new stuff, but I also want to do hardcore. So it's like it it does bum me out that I can't literally do like actually play both at the exact same time. Like obviously I can switch between the two, but um, Season of Discovery is like you know it's the new it's the new kid in class who drives a cool car and comes from a cool part of town and it's uh, it's tough. But I think the um hardcore SSF isn't that only till level 60? Oh my gosh, a Warlock with Soulstone? I'm not used to seeing that. I am not used to seeing that at all. Look at how busy Crossroads is. This is what I'm talking about, guys. WoW has not been this active since 2005, and it is incredible. I know when Classic came out, it was, it was active again, but it is so cool to see. Albeit slightly frustrating trying to quest. See, I think I have the flight point. Are you over there already? Yeah. I think I have the flight point. Hopefully I grabbed it. Yeah, with layers. Could you imagine without? Ugh. Sorry, you guys have to listen to me drink. But hey, some people are into that. ASMR videos and stuff. People are weird. People will watch the strangest things. Uh, what am I drinking? The good old Spindrift. My favorite bubbly water. I think studies show that you're not supposed to drink a lot of bubbly water and stuff. And I'm just like, well, that's too bad. Wait, can I attack this guy? Am I going to get killed by guards? Dude, I straight up... I'm straight up and getting HKs right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. He turned around on me. He turned around on me, you guys. Oh, he's going to moon fire me down. Wait. I'm still alive. Oh, I got ice lanced. But, hey, I got a, I got an HK, and that's what matters. That is what matters. I am, I am not one to back down from PvP. I don't know why uh, <laughs> I was killed by puke tits. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the mage who ice lanced me right at the last second. But uh, at least it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the Druid Moonfire spank. Why aren't the guards like messing people up though? I thought that was the whole point of the guards. Is it just whoever attacks first gets uh, gets wailed on? Oh, it was intentional. I even if I know I'm gonna die, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna gonna take him out I almost feel bad vendoring all this leather but it's like I just need the money now you know I just need the money now so that's what we're gonna do I don't even have a second profession yet I don't even know what I want it to be yeah I'm just gonna vendor it I ain't got time to run this stuff to the auction house. Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody got time for that min-max shenanigans. I got I got two whole <laughs> two whole ones. <laughs> I didn't wait. Alchemy can upgrade potions. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I don't I don't need any more. That's obviously I appreciate it more than enough. 
Honestly, I don't even care if I die anymore. I'm just like, I it's not hardcore, so I don't have to re-roll. So at this point, I'm just like, whatever. Dude, you got the Crescent Staff. It's a warrior weapon right there. Oh my god, it'd be more than double DPS. It would double my DPS. Killed by puke tits. They're trying to get me demonetized, man. Making me say stuff like that. And I'm like, no, all I'm doing is reading their in-game names. The algorithm doesn't care, dude. It doesn't care if you got killed by puke tits or not. All right, well, how many people are here? That's the real question. Oh, snap, rage potions, dude. Oh, wait, you have an instant cast? Oh, it almost worked. Oh. Got him. Got oh, he tried to ninja with his little throwing weapon. Not today, Knuckles. Not today. I know we're playing literally at the most peak of peak times. A Friday night. It's crazy. tagging all these guys. Need more DPS. More deeps. I'm tagging everybody. Tagging mobs is more important than living. That is, that is for sure when there's so many people on. Gotta remember to use Victory Rush every time. A little bit of a self-heal. Ooh, overpower. Well, bow. Dude, this, this, this camp is where it's at. This camp is 100% where it's at. Right, I'm actually gonna loot something here for a sec. Get my band-aids on. Well, I'm definitely going to try and stream this weekend. We're uh, posting a ton of videos on Rose channel this month. So that's pretty fun. Oh, it's on now, boys. All right, that guy at least. Oh, we got them all. We're playing. We're playing very aggressive today. We're playing super aggressive. Look at this. Look at this kiting. Look at this PvP kiting going on. I ain't, I ain't got time to wait for, for these mobs to respawn. Ain't no way. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> I will definitely be using that. No doubt. I love that you can just shoot this little blob thing at people. Oh, I wish I had cleave right now. I 
I do have the character name Cleave and Whirlwinds. I don't know that I'm going to use those for anything, but hey, at least I got them. And that's what truly matters. Oh, I should have tagged him. I was so close. I was so close to tagging the, the guy. Oh, wait. Do we get him? Do we get him? With the clutch invite? Dude, our buddy Gurgi, Gur, Gurgi, I, he told me how to say it. I'm still still terrible at it. Uh, with the clutch invite. I don't remember to actually watch my HP, though. Wait, you can get a... You can get a one of these guys as a pet now? What? That's new. Definitely could not do that before. Oh, a chest? Oh, dude, fat loots. Fat loots in this chest. Who's going to get it? That's the real question. Who deserves the chest more? Oh, they're trying. Oh, I'm getting it for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm the ninja looter for sure. Look at that fat loot. Is this the last guy we need, actually? Yeah, I think we're pretty much done with that one. It's pretty bomb. All right, let's see if I can catch up to you. Ugh. Passing off the pots. <laughs> Passing the pot, as they say. Alright, we're halfway to level 14. Kind of love that for us. Oh, dude got dazed. Relatable. Look at me. I can't get dazed. It's impossible to daze me. Some have tried, many have failed. I told you a yawn was gonna happen. Don't say I didn't tell you guys. Ooh, with the fear clutch. I do kind of secretly wish I was a Tauren Warrior, but Orcs are just so much better for PvP, it's crazy. Like, everyone likes to be like, oh, War Stomp, it's so good. It's like, it's really not. Like, for a Warrior, it's like, it's such a short stun, and the the duration is so little that, like, it it's a, it's not that great. And, like, the, the extra HP is, again, not that great, but the stun resist is, like, 25% or whatever. And yeah, the axe specialization, which I'm pretty sure, like, when I was doing RFC at level 11, I was still hitting the mobs for, like, a decent amount. Um, I literally think it's the axe specialization makes that big of a difference when you're that low level. Uh, so that was kind of cool. And uh, the I just love male Tarn, though, because they're so big. And they have, like, when you get, like, nice shoulders and stuff, and you get big weapons, and um, their animations are cool and stuff. But, yeah... Love the male Tarns. Yeah, I mean War Stomp is a good interrupt. Like it definitely is, but I don't know. It's not. It's not as game changing, especially for Warrior, where it's like you War Stomp them and then they just put on a shield and you don't. And you just sit there looking at them, and then it doesn't actually do anything. Um, that's that's how I feel. Although literally, I think male Tarns are my favorite looking, like horde characters just because their weapons are so big the shoulders are so big their hitbox is actually bigger so like you get stuck on stuff more <laughs> it's good times good times now we go to gazlo Whew. 
for tree of the shipment of boots. Ooh, I'd actually get my first green boots. Is that quest super high level? Oh, is this the one where we have to go kill the raptors? Is that... Yeah, it's down there. Level 20. Whatever, Jerg. Some spicy PvP is about to go down. Wait, I think it's like coin or something that you get from the raptors. Oh, I'm down to I'm down to try anything. With this not being hardcore, I literally don't care. I am down to try knowing that I may sink the entire ship in our endeavor. But I I'm for it. I'm all for it. Like I was literally doing RFC at level eleven. And we only wiped and it wasn't because it wasn't me. It was because Mr. Shivu was pulling the last boss when everyone was at half mana. Uh, and it was a great time. Absolutely loved every second of it. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't even mad when I died in RFC. I was literally like, this is actually a relief knowing that my character is still there. I know I gotta I gotta be careful because I do want to finish my warrior to 60. I'm giving him a little bit of rested XP, but I want to uh, get my hardcore warrior to 60. I want to start doing Ubers. Get the mad Ubers gear. So much running. <sighs> Guys, I told you this is a this is a sleepy stream. Don't stand on fire when trying to loot boxes, guys. That is what I would tell you. Ooh, with the fear. Man, Warlock fear is so good. Oh! Zimaz did not make it. Well, that homie's shooting me. What'd I ever do to you? Yeah, that was pretty easy. Screw it. We're killing him again. <laughs> Don't worry, I got him. If only I had any kind of cooldown, I could actually... I guess I do have my Orc Racial. I say let's go for it, and then just invite people, because there's going to be tons of people in there. So I'd say just invite anyone that's not in a group. We should be fine. I'm saying it much more confidently than I have any right to. Because, yeah, it says it's level uh, 20. <laughs> only, only a good uh, seven levels ahead of me. Oh, seeing that Torn wear makes me kind of wish I was a Torn wear. All right, these mobs are only level 16, but I know they get uh, they get pretty intense pretty quick. This is the world's longest escort. I know that. I know that much. Yeah, orcs are bomb. I'm a I'm a big orc enjoyer.
I know the escort is so slow. I mean, I think it doesn't spawn until he gets all the way down there. So he still has to walk through all the uh, camps and stuff. Yeah, he was uh, being escorted out the gates when we were coming in. But we have to kill the guy at the top of this tower if you want to do that. Man, this place was so scary on hardcore when I was doing uh I skipped it on my warrior, but even just doing it on my mage was such a pain. And there on horde there was like nobody, so there's like no one to help. I think he yeah, right here. Love when you see dead corpses around. Makes it that much better. Is that her? Easy breeze. Oh, she's got fear. <laughs> well, the way they're designed, they're so stupid. Cause it's like if you're the level you're supposed to be, just trying to get up the stairs, you're going to pull the whole room. It's, it's wild. Yeah, I'm down to do it if you want. It'll be it'll still probably be just a minute. Oh snap, I got the soul stone. I will definitely need that as well. Oh, got the spawns. Uh, no, I still got my health stone. I use them very sparingly. I believe in my own abilities. I say as I probably actually need to take one right now. Someone up there, I just hear huh, huh. <laughs> like who designs this room? It makes no sense, it is not an efficient use of space. I can tell you that much. Oh snap, you guys. Nick Tasteless Plot. Hearted my tweet. We've made it. We've made it. 
the man who got me into StarCraft back when I was skipping uh, college classes to watch their casts live on GOM TV has acknowledged my existence. We've officially made it. What a legend, dude. Man can grow a beard that I can't even dream of. And he doesn't even have to try. You don't invite this dude. took the best seat in the house before they could get it. Hello, my friends. Stay a while and listen. Talk about some orc stuff. Look at, look at his big old gloves. Can you imagine having like forearms that big? Like, how do you even function? Just chilling with my orc bros. Getting 20 XP for doing nothing. Tassadith playing like a true warlock. Oh, he's getting a little low. Playing like a true warlock up there. Oh, he's got 30 HP. Oh, God, here comes all the mobs. <laughs> oh, dude, 28 HP. What a boss. What an absolute boss. They're just trying to take my seat, I already know. Well, you can't take a seat while in combat. You literally cannot use a chair while in combat. Oh my god, I'm still in combat. Alright, I'll, I'll read you this book that's on the table, you guys. The New Horde. How many pages? Oh my god, who actually reads this stuff? Nine pages? I have to be in character. Though. I'm still in combat. I can't even sit in my chair. I guess we have to do it the old-fashioned way. The Chief Warden of the Intermittent Camps, Adelis Blackmore, watched over the captive orcs from his prison stronghold, Durnhold. One orc in particular had always held his interest. The orphaned infant he had found nearly 18 years before. Blackmore had raised the young male as a favored slave and named him Thrall. Blackmore taught the orc about the tactics, philosophy, and combat. Thrall was even trained as a gladiator. All the while, the corrupt warden sought to mold the orc into a weapon. I mean, I think these guys got this, right? We can, we can continue on to page two. All right, everybody turn to page two. Despite his harsh upbringing, young Thrall grew into a strong, quick-witted orc, and he knew in his heart that a slave's life was not for him. As he grew to maturity, he learned about his people, the orcs, whom he had never met. After their defeat, most of them had been placed in, in interment camps. Interment camps. Rumor had it that Doomhammer, the orc leader, had escaped from Lordaeron and gone into hiding. Only one rogue clan still operated in secret, trying to evade the watchful eyes of the Alliance. This is a lot of reading. That, that was only page two. 
We've literally only made it to page two. Okay. Thal took up Doomhair's legendary Warhammer and donned his black plate armor to become the new war chief of the Horde. During the following months, a small but volatile Horde laid waste to the intermittent camps and stimmied the Alliance's best efforts to counter his clever strategies. Encouraged by his best friend and mentor, Grom Hellscream, Thrall worked to ensure that his people would never be slaves again. Okay. So we ended on a, on a pretty good note. I guess I should make bandages while we wait. Sarah Barbarid! I was trying to right click on him, kept clicking on everybody else. Man, they really went with a crazy story for the WoW movie, or the Warcraft movie. I'm like, guys, you are telling the most confusing story to people. Anyone who doesn't know what Warcraft is, they are so confused right now. I'm going to be honest, the only time I watched the Warcraft movie was at the premiere, because we went to the live premiere or whatever. Red carpet premiere, whatever. <laughs> I literally haven't watched it since. I just remember watching it and being like, you guys really did not try to mainstreamify this at all. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I loved it, but I still thought it was a very interesting story to tell for the first Blizzard movie. Yeah, I mean, they kept it very authentic. I will give them that. My God, this takes forever. I swear to goodness, if Guild of Braxis ninjas this quest, <laughs> interspecies stuff going on for sure. Do they ever uh, talk about that? Like, what if a? Oh no, my camera! All right, guys, we gotta pretend like this is this is intentional. I gotta let it charge a little bit. <laughs> um, do they ever like go into detail? Like, what if a uh, what if an orc is like, "Hey, gnome, what's going on? You want to come back to my place?" Like, can can gnome and dwarves? Can there be half dwarf, half gnomes? I don't know. I don't know if they go, I don't know if they, if they spend a lot of time thinking about this, but this is, you know, th this is the questions that people need to be asking at the BlizzCon panels. Like if you're one of the few people who actually gets a chance to, um, to ask a question in front of the hundreds of thousands of people watching. I feel like they don't think about it until they're like, oh, we want to we wanna make these two characters love interests. <laughs> and then they're like, well, what's their kid going to look like? And then it just magically all works out. You know, but I guess with the power of magic. 
Why does this take so long? The escort does not take this long. I know it's a long escort, but still. This is absolutely wild. Guys, that's my hand. Don't get uh don't get any thoughts in your head. There are more Void Walkers than I have ever seen in one spot. I mean, I guess I gotta actually get my mouse ready because I'm gonna have to help potentially try and click on this as well. Half Orc, half Ogre? Really? Do they ever show female Ogres in... Wow, I feel like all the models, at least in WoW, are male. This guy's really trying to negotiate with them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, boys. Oh, homie was sitting. I would have never saw him down there. Someone's got someone's got real fast hands. I didn't realize he was sitting. I would have I would have messed it up if uh if it weren't for you guys. All right, guys, we got to RP walk with him. Don't worry, Giltheris Firebow. We'll get you out of here safely. As quickly as they tried to destroy you. We will destroy that. I, my voice cannot handle it. Literally, I can feel my vocal cords just getting shredded. What up, not Rywin? Giving battle shout to all the uh wait, these guys got a FFA loot on. I gotta I gotta loot stuff right away. Not that I'm not gonna get the medals, but I just I just yoinked three medals right there. But hey, they're the ones who wanna do FFA. That's on them. I guess we're the only two who actually need metal still. Because <laughs> they actually went and did the other quests already. Yeah, I just need two more. We're gonna be we're gonna be golden. Murloc scale belt. Oh, snap the hyper spawns. I mean, this undead guy definitely has a death wish. I will give him that. You're not wrong, dude. I'm going to laugh as they spawn on top of him. The hyper spawns are so funny. All right, we're cruising now. We are absolutely cruising. You're loving me on H3H3. 
Yeah, that, that whole trip was wild. But uh, good for Ethan for actually... He actually lets people on his show and lets them talk and plays devil's advocate. So many of those drama channels, man, they don't even... They don't even reach out to the people they're talking about, let alone um, talk to them if they get reached out to. It's kind of sad. It's a long story. <laughs> it was uh, the most interesting Hawaii trip we've ever been on, though. I will, I will say that. I was only on it for like a couple of seconds. I was, I was more of like a, like a funny little mascot that they cut to every now and then. I mean, this is like so many players. It's kind of hilarious. Hey, Magikarp. Love these names. Pikachu. Pro Folk. Well, there goes Mag Magikarp and Pikachu. Love the RP walk. I know, I do have to be better about uploading uh, content, whether it's WoW or StarCraft, but I'm just so busy with Rose stuff that I just want to, I just enjoy streaming. But hopefully next year I have more time to uh, focus on making DAT content. Yeah, we just hired some more editors that I really, really like. But it's mostly for Rose stuff. We're uh, we're gonna try and like triple our content output next year once we have the studio. So it'll be it'll be interesting. Can't wait. So many so many people who have done YouTube as long as we have, they get burned out at some point. But we're like more motivated than ever. So I think it's gonna be a really cool. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool year. Oh my god, this dude's trying to help out literally everybody. What if you could only walk backwards? He just keeps running further and further back. This dude is cracked out, man. He is he is absolutely pissed. No, go away. Oh my god, he literally helps anybody. <laughs> he literally will help anybody. Man, look at that uh Look at that jawline, man. This guy definitely does not eat carbs. Kind of weirds me out that this part of his body moves right here. You see down here? Kind of kind of weirds me out that that part of his body moves. <laughs> okay, let's let's get a side view. I don't know. Anybody else? When am I getting on that uh, StarCraft 3? It's called Stormgate, dude. It's coming out soon. Ish. Ooh. 
This guy's probably just getting escorted 24 seven. With how slow this dude walks. It's absurd. Stormgate expansion. I actually made a character named Stormgate on this server. I also made a character named Starcraft, so you know I got I got my RTS's RTS bases covered. Dude, I feel like we're in a in a movie. We're like rolling into a casino. We're about to do the biggest heist. All right, you guys ready for camera time or what? Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna peek it in. Oh, cuts to me. I'm just like, Ugh. come on, camera. You can do it. Come on, camera. There it is. I've gotten substantially shorter. This quest is a freaking yawn fest, man. I do have one quest to turn in. Stolen booty. I know. Us us people over six two. The struggle's real. Yeah, I'm assuming these other guys finished the... Yeah, they already did it, so they'll drop group. Uh, I'm 6'2", but then I worked out a lot and got 6'3", because my spine spread out. But I think I'm back down to 6'2", because I stopped working out. So I gotta, I gotta start working out again. supposed to be the chosen one yeah I could vendor a few things come on camera you can do it I'm gonna try to turn it off again Dude is still walking. All right, we're just gonna leave it on that camera setting. I'm not even gonna make it do the better one. My God, it's finally right here. Oh, huge upgrade. Oh, and like, that's actually fat XP. That gave me a lot. That upgrade was hashtag worth. Oh, I can use my new pants too. Are they even that much better? Three more armor. Yeah, it gives me strength instead of add G, I'll take it. Nice. 
I guess I'll keep the one linen cloth. Alright, we level 14, which means we got 5% crit. Huge boots, too. God, I usually buy this and sell it on the auction house. I wonder if it would actually sell right now. I'm going to try. Maybe the copper modulators would actually sell. I don't know. I don't know where Jason's at. Probably, like, sleeping or whatever. Whatever those people do. You think I should hop into Wailing Caverns at 14, dude? We could get a... Uh... Yeah, what level is he? We could do it, right? Just get like an actual tank. Yeah, get Kachino in there. You guys would carry me because you'd be 19... 19. Gurji's 19. It's easy. What's Jason at? Jason's 19. We're all 19s. We got it. Alright, we'll have to find another 19, but we could totally do it. I just hit level 14, dude. <laughs> Everything's made for rose height. If only that was true. Poor Roe can't reach literally anything. Because the thing that people don't realize, and I'm sure they do realize, but I'm going to say that they don't, is when you're four foot ten, everything is scaled so far down. Like your her arms, she okay. So I'm six two. She's four ten. She literally cannot touch the top of my head standing flat footed. Like, literally, if she sticks her arms straight in the air, she cannot touch the top of my head. And people don't realize, like, how short that is. <laughs> if your full arm length cannot... Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Who's... Someone subscribed. Someone subscribed. Leon68 on YouTube subscribed, which means they probably aren't even watching the stream. They probably don't even know that it's actually happening. Um... Uh, wait, wait, wait. When Husky finds out about retail RBGS? the hell is that? I don't even know what that is, dude. Getting me to quit. Wow, that's a tricky... I mean, it's been done before, but that's pretty tricky. Oh, snap. Getting that briar thorn. Oh, Raided Battlegrounds? Interesting. I mean, they should have done that a hundred years ago. But no, I'm not going to take the time to level up and gear up for that. Although I hear that leveling is like super fast. And I could boost, I guess. Uh-oh. Is that in my future? Boosting up a character to check it out? Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you really quick. I'm just going to go grab a drink. So... Keep in mind, your aggro range is much larger.
definitely love when a uh, hamstring crits for seven. <laughs> Nothing makes you uh, feel better about yourself. Oh snap, it's Thane Silverblade, which sounds like a WoW NPC name. With the follow, thanks man. I'm assuming Thane is a is a male name. You know, you know, you don't meet a lot of female Thanes. You really don't. Oh, Kachino gets Ghost Wolf, jealous. <laughs> Oh, snap, with the first time chat? Get out of here. Don't actually get out of here, but... I mean, you can get out of here if you want to, but just don't just don't do it because I said so. That is awesome. Oh, man, it's not looking good for that rogue. Is he dueling again? Dude be trying to duel everybody. Typical rogues, man. They're always trying to duel everybody. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, chill, pretty chill crossbow. Oh, there they go. Wee. She's healing through my DPS. <laughs> this is where I miss Mortal Strike. Dude, I auto attacked this guy one time and he is just so upset about it. Finally got her. Small, lustrous pearl. Oh god, the hyper spawns. Oh god. What up, Lays Fort? Zug Zug indeed. Oh, Ginger Ale is so underrated. Look at this guy doing these quests at level 22 like he's supposed to. The real men be running in here at 14. I don't know if I've had Gus. I love Ginger Ale though. I also love really tart lemonade. Like the tarter the better. If it's making me question my life decisions because it's so tart, it's like just the right amount. All right, who we got today? We got Prep Hot, Peak Tank, and Beef Shapiro. <laughs> God. Uh, I always, Torrens always have the best names, hands down. Oh, nice. That was good timing. Love that for us. These guys need this guy, or they already got him. Oh, they haven't gotten the other guy yet. Are these guys on FFA too? Nope. My contribution to this group is Battle Shout. That's pretty much the only thing that I'm helping out with. Woo! 
Ooh, spin move. Parkour. Oh my gosh, this is going great. Oh snap. Thane Silverblade with the 100 bits. Thanks, man. Uh, you can get a soda. You know, you know, we buy our sodas from Costco. You're definitely getting a soda for less than a 100 bits. Oh, this shaman, he don't care, man. Definitely not doing that escort again, I can tell you that much. Alright, we are we are going the cool way out of here. This is how the cool people do it. Oh no! Oh I barely made it. Oh uh, whoo! That was pretty clutch. Dude, you, I would never do this in hardcore, but man, it is so satisfying to not have to worry about it. All right, now we're going to run all the way, all the way back. Well, someone donated 100 bits yesterday, and I literally bought Taco Bell, so, and uh, I think... No, that time they didn't give me the happy hour. Because at, at Taco Bell, if you get happy hour, they uh, all drinks are only a buck. But um, sometimes if they like you, they'll give you happy hour outside of happy hour hours. Don't uh, don't tell anyone. Because then corporate will be like, ah, oh, we're losing our precious dollars. But no, Taco Bell sometimes will hook you up. That's why you just be a nice person, you know? You know, you should just do it for good karma. You know, treat others how you want to be treated, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but also, I think the most important part is that you might get Taco Bell drinks on happy hour with it, without it actually being happy hour. I am kind of bummed there's no skinning going on here. I didn't technically make the pylon song. Pylo the pylon. Wait, do we have stolen silver? Do I have that quest? I thought that quest was later for some reason. I've definitely been doing things at a little low level, but then I get these fat boots that are like, or the uh, the gloves are a huge upgrade. God, I'm gonna have to research where all the runes and stuff are. I'm not really worried about it because it's like I can get to 25 without having to worry about that stuff because I'm basically on autopilot, but... They don't make it super obvious where you have to get the runes and stuff, which is actually kind of cool. Alright, let me see... Bow, 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 bow. I 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in and see if we can do an RFC because I, I have one more quest. I feel like I should just go to town and train anyways. We'll fly to Ogrima. Oh, this guy got the name Beef. Please tell me he's a Tauren. Please tell me he's a Tauren. Oh, a Tauren warrior named Beef. Chef's kiss. Oh snap, it's Jason. I don't even know, can I even zone into Wailing Caverns? God, I wish I had like five levels because I could do Wailing Caverns, Dead Mines. Oh, well, thankfully my friends are uh, a little Jason get to. Ooh, he hit 22. He's doing Wailing Caverns, my bad. Whoops. <laughs> there's literally there's literally two dungeons. <laughs> Dude, I've played this game a hundred years and I'm still so stupid. This guy's going to the warrior trainer. Let's try auto following him and see.
Nope, he's not. How's my skinning doing? That's the real question. Did I sell my skinning knife again? I always sell that damn thing. I literally have sold it three times already. Ooh, I got journeyman skinning. Alright, what abilities are we getting at level 14? Johnny Autoplex Brook has subscribed on YouTube. Thanks for the follow. Definitely appreciate it, everybody. Hanging out with me late at night. Oh, God. What do we get? Demo shout. Revenge. Where's my demo shout? Let me put it there. Sure, why not? All right. All right, we're going to be doing RFC in just a sec. All right, maybe I'll just uh, take this guy. And if not, then we shall wait. Our group has got this easy. We are ready. This is going to be a much easier run than when I was doing it at level 11.
All right, guys, some exciting raid content going on here. Hopefully a Hez on the way. Oh, he is. He is. These snakes not nearly as scary this time. Wait, we got to get our damage meters going. We have got to get our damage meters going. Although I don't even know if the damage meters are working correctly. Let's see. No, not the details one. That one sucks. Recount, that's the one. Have a good one, Thang. 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 Thane. This priest shenanigans is. All I know is warrior is not that much different, and everyone else is like a totally different class, it feels like. Let's check out this guy's fat gear. Ooh. Bomb sword. Alright, these peeps coming. Kirong almost here. Eh, almost here. Pew pewing me with lasers. I got a soul stone for 14 more minutes. Let's see, I think kill Basilan and Jurgosh. I don't have I forgot to buy arrows. I can't pull this this snake right now. Once homie zone zones in though, we got it. Well actually everybody's almost here. Karang is going the other way now. <laughs> Everybody's going the wrong way. They're going the wrong way. What up, Silent Siren? You can spell it however you want. Don't even worry about it. It's literally all good. Typing's overrated, honestly. It's like when they told us that, like, oh, you need to learn cursive, because you're going to use that all the time. I think I was, like, the last generation where they taught cursive. Yeah, we don't, we don't ever use cursive. So, you know, typing's the new cursive. You heard it here first. Well, and they also told us when we were learning typing, oh, don't, uh... Uh, yeah, but when I was learning typing, you know, in high school and middle school, they're like, don't don't type with just a few fingers. Fingers, uh, they call it pecking. You know, you don't don't peck at the keyboard. And now it's literally what are cell phones? It's literally using two fingers to type. <laughs> oh, how times change! All right, what's going on here, gang? All right, he's running in. All right, everybody's heading in the right direction now. We are moments away. From Rage Fire Caverns. It's very exciting. Yeah, you'll never have a calculator in your pocket. The biggest lie. I mean, they obviously... Uh, ooh, excuse me. They obviously didn't know that that was coming. But... <laughs> it's so true, though. Oh, snap. Mother's Milk is here. Wait, does does little uh, Naltai not give us uh, his little stamina buff? What's going on? Why does that little guy not got a stamina buff? Oh, I appreciate that, Silent. We have 16 videos coming out on Rose Channel this month. I 
don't even know what all this new warlock stuff is. They got glowing hands. Look at you guys even buffing the imp. He feels included. You know, he may be little, but you guys really treat him like one of our own. He's got so many buffs. He's so cute. Do you think the imp has to go, like... Does he go to Claire's to, like, get his, uh, get his ears pierced? And he's like, hey, I'll take uh, four ear piercings, please. All right, dude, here comes our big AOE farm. <laughs> it's not doing enough. It's not doing enough. of stance. Oh, you can't skin these guys? They're totally beasts. They should let me skin these snakes. I think everybody's a tank at this point. Oh my gosh, these mobs are actually yellow to me now. This is fantastic. Hey, they're still giving 60 XP. That guy gave me 59. I think this one gave me 47. That is not the worst. This is so much easier than I other run. We're so much higher level. White leather jerkin. Jerkin is just such a great word. It's just so funny to see different abilities used at like such a low level. Wait, where's my damage meter? It's just not showing up. I just realized we gotta we gotta get our damage meters going. me a better bow. Oh snap, did I win the recipe of the white leather jerkin? Maybe I should go leatherworking. Maybe I really should go leatherworking, it's my calling.
Oh snap, we got the ads. We got a lot of ads, actually. Dropping out the wazoo. This guy actually keeps Battle Shout up, though, which is nice. A lot of the warriors we were with before were not using Battle Shout. You gonna aggro that stuff? Nope. All right, this run is this run is blazing fast. We're gonna be out of here in minutes. It's like literally everyone has all these. Oh god, actually people are in pretty bad shape all of a sudden. Oh, he'd be dead now. I don't actually have taunt or anything, by the way. Taunt is overrated. Do I actually have taunt? I don't know if I actually trained taunt yet. Oh, dude, he dinged. We're going to be fine. All right. Do I actually have taunt? Is that something you start? Okay, we do have taunt. All right. I'll, I'll help this poor guy out. Let's put taunt uh, there. Dude, the, uh, this is why, this is putting the rage in rage fire. Oh no, not the warlock pet, I must save him. Guys, are you feeling pretty festive today or what? Because I sure am. I don't know why there's 65 of you watching Rage Fire, which has been ran hundreds of millions of times. But hey, we are here for it. And we are getting our priests geared out the nose. Geared out the nose. And good old RFC. Just constant life tapping.
And he's level 12 now. So easy. How long did it take me to get this half level? Or I'm like close-ish to a half level. Ah, still 43 minutes. Leveling is surprisingly slow and wow. Chip. I kind of want to get to 19 really bad and just uh, more song gulch it up. Or maybe go to good old uh, Ashenvale. Actually, does it show anything in the map for Ashenvale? No? I haven't actually been up there, so I don't know what the new content is. The new PvP stuff. What? No PvP going on? It's gotta be bopping now, right? Like, people are getting maxed out level already. What else are you gonna do? And Friday night? XP these guys give. They're still only level 13, which is nice. They, these were scary yesterday, but yeah, 46. This guy's name is literally Taint. <laughs> what a great word. What an absolute great word. Oh, and he's doing Thunderclap and Demo Shout? This dude's, this dude's tanking like, uh, we're an MC. Yeah, there was a, a surprising amount of PvP in Ratchet. I thought that the Ratchet guards attacked people. I didn't see them wailing on anybody. I gotta, I gotta change my posture. Posture check, everybody. My lower back is killing me, and it's 100% my fault. Yeah, I just reached my first gold, too. Now Dalo just leveled up too. Woo. An hour and forty minutes, not bad. whatsoever. It's like heroic strike and that's it. 73 damage. Clutch fade. Except Tommy doesn't have any mana. It's okay, because I got a healing pot. That's all I need. And victory rush, dude. Self heal. Forget about it. 
about it. Well, yeah, I've been in a few uh, PvP battles. And by battles, I mean I charge in and uh, swing once and then run away because I'm a warrior. And if I stay and fight, I die in two seconds. Oh, I guess I could leave looking for group. I don't need no looking for group. Let's see, homie's all the way over here. Yep, that's not good. That's not good. And the other pat. Can we poly maybe? Oh, or flame strike, you know. This is not gonna be good. gonna do it I might actually do it and that is how you do it MVP top plays I wasn't even worried. Oh no, my belt's about to break. I forgot in this game, you uh, when you die, you lose durability. I'm used to hardcore where there's no such thing as dying. sorts of crazy stuff for no reason. Well, hey, he at least said my bad. I mean, that puts him ahead of 99% of people. So we are going to give that an apology accepted. RFC, dude. People be people be wilding out in here. We've already had two deaths. Oh, no one is stepping up. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got the we got the smack talk now. <laughs> he was half man. He says <laughs> our level twelve, our level twelve healer was half mana, He says. We got RFC drama up in here, guys. This is out of control. This is absolutely out of control. I just put up so many dots. Got my rend on everybody. I feel like we're playing uh, League of Legends where everybody's just arguing. Oh, snap a shadow gem. Big money right there. Dude, people on League are so toxic, man. 
I played like three games. I made like five videos on League, and I was like, this is too toxic for me. Even back then, when I was eight years younger, I was like, I'm too old for this. Snap swiftness pot. That's some that's some mad money right there. That's some mad mad money. I didn't even know Swiftness Pot dropped in here. Well, man, I gotta go Alchemy now, obviously. That's technically an upgrade, but I don't know. I'm axes for life, and I want it anyways. Back-to-back -back crits? This guy doesn't even know. Chicken Fredo has subscribed tier one! Hey, what up, Chicken Fredo? Good to see you. I remember your name because I wanted to call you Chicken Alfredo, but you are very distinctly different because you are Chicken Fredo, and that is 100% different. I don't care what eBay says. Hey Esky, what mod is that for you and enemy health bars? Um, it's called Shadowed Unit Frames. Um, I love it. Honestly, it's like it's like this one, Bartender, and Questy. Like if I had to pick three mods. Because um, like when he's healing, I don't know if he's actually casting heals or doing chain heals, but um or channel heals. But like it shows where if if you're targeting someone with a with a healing spell. It shows you where it's going to land. Obviously, it's a range, but it gives you, like, the rough idea of where it's going to land, uh, which is super cool. And, obviously, it makes it easier to see them and read them and all that. Um, it's called Shadowed Unit Frames. It's really annoying to set up. They, like, the way that it's, it's programmed for, like, getting set up is super annoying. But once you have it in, like, a good place, it's pretty solid. The only thing I can't figure out is how to get it to show more buffs because it, like, taps out over here. Which is kind of annoying. And, like, it cuts off the names a lot. So I have to figure out how to change that. Like, there, there's some small things that are annoying. But um, I love it. I can't play it with the normal ones. The normal health bars anymore. Because you literally can't tell how much health is. How much health is there. It doesn't show you where the heals are going to land, obviously. 
So yeah, shadowed unit frames. Kind of a peculiar name, but it gets the job done. Yeah, definitely recommend. I also recommend sleep. Side note. Yeah, right, right there. Showing where the heal is gonna land. It's, it's super cool because you know, like, if a heal is coming, it uh, it kind of gives you a leg up on deciding what to do. Is the other guy down? Is that him for the quest? Yeah. Just need that last dude and then we're ready. Then I got all my RFC quests done. Getting that mad rep. Still neutral with Undercity. I haven't done anything with Undercity. Bunch of weird dead people. This wants to drop on him. <laughs> With the smack talk. I guess you could drop on him. I don't think I've ever done that. What a spicy RFC, man. This turned into quite the uh, the spice fest. Oh, snap. We got loot on this guy. Oh. He, he ninja it. He's going to vendor that for 45 copper. Oh well, I'll, uh, I'll take XP any day. Taking this Voidwalker on. Get out of here, dude. Starting to get antsy because we're so close to the ends. will be the last time I need to do RFC on this guy. There's nothing here for me. I guess the XP is okay. The Barons will get me to 20. I'll be pretty happy about that. I kind of really have to go to the bathroom, not going to lie. Of Frozen Wrath? Green buckler of frozen wrath. And it's that would only increase your frost shock by like one because it's instant cast. Those mages can use shields now, and I don't know about it. Oh, could you imagine for AoE farming?
<laughs> oh, he did it. He clutched it, dude. Ooh, second dodge. That was your last mistake. So angry at the mage. Even with all their their armor being sundered, they, they are not having it with the mage. Alright, this is our man. No more RFC drum drum for me. Chanting blade. Oh, easy. Well, thanks for the help, man. Love the uh, little bit of drum drum we had going on. Dude, you didn't even do one level 19 uh, Warsong Gulch. You would have been blasting fools. Gotta go to the bathroom so bad, but I don't want to be stuck in here. You can, but you'll be in the next bracket. So you'll be the lowest level. Because it's 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, etc. Obviously, 25 is the max or whatever right now, but... Wait, do they need more, um, the guys who have the quest, I don't know if they need more of the little troll trog delight guys or whatever. I can't make it though, I, I really gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out, but I wanna get out of here, I don't wanna die, man. Yeah, same dude, I literally am like so antsy right now. Literally antsy in my pantsy. At least we got Renew going. This guy's renewing the hell out of me. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to end the stream here. I got to go to the bathroom so bad, and I, I'm actually feeling a little crazy because I didn't sleep much last night. Nine hours of streaming in two days, plus filming a video, plus filming a bunch of shorts, plus editing a bunch of content. I am, I am white. It has been an extraordinarily productive week. Uh, but you should go to Rosanna's channel, youtube.com slash Rosanna Pancino. And, uh, God, my stomach is so upset right now. Um... We are posting a video every day for the next 11 days on her channel. Pretty crazy. A lot of moo cows out here. But uh, anyways, have a good night, you guys. I'll see you guys next time. I still had energy for that. <laughs>